Welcome to Boomstick Gaming, this is Alex, and allow me to present to you the slowest game I can't stop playing, SnowRunner, an open world off-road sim. Now wait a second, I know you think you're either in or you're out on this type of game just from that niche genre descriptor alone, but take it from me, someone who has absolutely no interest in trucks, or really most all vehicles for that matter, because I can confirm there is still much to enjoy here even for those not automotively inclined. To my surprise, I often found myself completely unaware of the frigid hours melting by in this, even though I was often just stuck in mud for the most of it. SnowRunner, for me, is not necessarily a gearhead driving simulator, it's a vehicular combat game, where it's me versus the topography itself and Earth's own physics. The terrain is your enemy, and all you have to combat it with is your array of mechanized exosuits for your driver, called trucks. A swampy forest or a steep snow-covered mountainside is equivalent to a traditional boss fight where you must strategically map out your plan of attack, equip the right gear for the job, avoid all the threats it throws at you, or risk having to start all the way over at your home base garage just to give it another attempt. Yes, even as a truck, there is still a fail state in this, which is when you're completely alone and stuck without any recourse, which makes you constantly consider if the path that lies before you is really worth the risk. Since the core gameplay loop requires you to be so grounded and aware of your surroundings at all times, this really helps to make the world feel all the more tangible and realistic, even though all these regions would be complete mud hellscapes in real life. Expect to have some moments where you're just stuck in the mud for not even exaggerating 10 entire minutes, or having traveled halfway across one of the giant maps just to find yourself in some irreversible idiotic situation that you're not quite sure how you even got in. The thing is though, even in those somewhat frustrating moments of defeat in SnowRunner, there still often tends to be many therapeutic moments of beautiful bliss, even in those failures. Your prime motivation in SnowRunner is completing quests, earning money, upgrading your vehicles, and opening up new routes to be able to do it all the more efficiently. If you're the type of person who likes checking things off of big open world maps, that same map clearing satisfaction is in full effect here, just at a turtle on top of a snail's pace. For example, you have no idea what I went through to not only get the metal I needed for this important bridge shortcut, but also the hours and hours of weird situations, trials, and tribulations I found myself in just trying to find the place to load up on it. When I finally did complete that bridge after the absolutely brutal wilderness adventure, you can certainly bet on the fact that it felt all the more rewarding upon completion just because of that. It can be dangerous to truck alone, but you can invite up to three other players into your world for some co-op haul in action. At first, I didn't quite see how anyone else could really assist in a game like this, but it didn't really take all that long for it to fully click into place. The other players can either help you haul additional supplies, help you complete some of your quests, or they can help get yourself or some of the more difficult to salvage vehicles out to safety. Those abandoned trucks can be used to expand your delivery entourage, or they can be sold for huge cash payouts, so getting assistance with these is absolutely worthwhile. The online multiplayer aspect in SnowRunner, just like the entire gameplay premise itself, provided something truly fresh that I didn't quite know I was missing out on. Come on, flip over. There we go. Thank you, sir. Truck on. All right, the truck out of here. <laughs> SnowRunner's focus on raw physics-based gameplay mechanics and attention to detail in its world design made for an oddly rewarding experience, surprisingly even for someone like me with zero prior interest in the source material of mundane truck driving simulation. In the end, I found SnowRunner to be arduous yet soothing, laborious yet engrossing, and plotting but also completely enthralling. For all those above reasons, this is admittedly a strange newfound addiction that was kind of hard to craft into words, but hopefully this all sheds some kind of unique light on all this from a complete genre outsider. Make sure to let me know if I captured the vibe of the series if you're a veteran from the previous game Mudrunner, or if this is your first experience with this style of game, come back to this and let me know what you think after you give it a fair try. 
Now to wrap all this up, if you happen to enjoy my style of gaming content, consider subscribing to the channel for more, you can also ring that little bell icon if you already are to be bothered more often about my videos, and you can also find me over on Twitter at BoomstickAlex. A special mention to these top tier YouTube members and patrons at the highest tier, who helped to keep this all trucking along. As always, this has been Alex from Boomstick Gaming, and thanks for watching.